Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Jeremy, and in this Reclaim AI tutorial, you will learn how to use Reclaim AI for scheduling your Google Calendar. Let's get started. We're going to start off at the reclaim.ai dashboard, app.reclaim.ai. To integrate Reclaim AI with your Google Calendar, you simply sign up for a free account and connect your Google Calendar. So there's a few things we need to highlight. The planner, the tasks, the habits, and the smart one-on-ones. The planner is very similar to that of Google Calendar. It's basically a calendar layout where you can see your tasks for the day and for the week. Let's go to habits first. Let's create a new habit. And I will create two habits to show the functionality of reclaim.ai. I'll create one that is non-negotiable. It has to happen every day. And one that can be rescheduled or canceled if need be. That way you can see the rescheduling functionality of reclaim.ai. Let's do the non-negotiable first. Let's say that it's eating lunch. I need to eat lunch every day for at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Now reclaim.ai allows us to choose a time frame within which we want to perform a task or a habit. So we don't necessarily have to choose Monday at 11.30 for our lunch. Instead, we can say, I want to eat lunch between, let's say 12 and two. And then we copy this to all of the days in which we want to eat lunch. Scroll down a bit. And we can also choose an ideal time. Let's say that I really want to eat lunch at 12. It's my favorite time to do so. And now we scroll down a bit. And the visibility section has to do with other people seeing your calendar when they want to plan a meeting with you. If you want to show them that you're eating lunch and that's the reason you cannot be booked, you can do so. But you can also hide it and just show that you're busy. Now here, the time defense is the unique functionality of reclaim.ai. You can go from always free, so that means that the lunch can always be booked over by other tasks and meetings, to always busy, which means that the lunch cannot be booked over. And because lunch is so important to me, I'll put it at always busy. Now I'm gonna save. And there's one more thing I have to do. I have to prioritize the habit. Go to the left and drag it up to priority habits. Now I'm going to make a second habit that's less important. Let's say going for a walk after lunch. I'll scroll down and put the walking at always free. That way, when I plan a task between 12 and let's say three, that takes two hours, it can cancel the walking time in favor of that task. I'll save it. Let's now take a look at the Google Calendar. We have a lunch between 12 and 12.45 and walk at one. Let's now go back. We're going to edit tasks now. Go to new task. And let's say that I need to edit a video. Video editing. It will take me two and a half hours. I'll plan it in my working hours and I have to start doing it on Monday. It's a day on which I would also have lunch. And let's say that incidentally, I need to really edit this video between 12 and three. So that would still leave me with 30 minutes of lunching, but I cannot go for a walk. And reclaim.ai will schedule it that way. It will cancel the walk in favor of the video editing task, but it will keep the lunch. Let's create it. And now go to the calendar. And here, if we check out the calendar, we can see that our walks are planned every day after lunch, except for Monday, the day on which we need to do our video editing task. Now, if you increase the time frame during which you can have your walk, let's do that. Let's say between one and seven on all days, then reclaim.ai will reschedule your walk after you're done editing your video. And you can also see this in your Google Calendar. Lunch has been given a shield, which means that it's blocked off. Same for the video editing task. But here, very small, you can read free next to walk which means that it can be rescheduled and if necessary, overridden by another task. Let's go back to reclaim because there's one more thing I want to show you and that is setting up a meeting. Let's now go to the smart one-on-ones. These are one-on-one -on -one meetings with another calendar user that can be planned and scheduled around in your calendar, depending on your availability and that of the other. Let's add a new smart one-on-one. -on -one. I'll invite myself and I will add a title tutorial meeting. To optimally use the smart one-on-one -on -one functionality, the other party will also need to have a Reclaim AI account. 
That way, Reclaim.ai can look into their calendar and move around the meeting in a way that's optimal for you and them. Let's choose 30 minutes every week. The ideal day would for me be on a Tuesday at 2 p.m. And I will create it. Now what's left to do for the other party is create a Reclaim.ai account and accept our meeting invitation. One more thing that I would like to highlight for Reclaim.ai is with tasks, you can set priorities. So we have the Monday video editing session. Imagine that we have another task that's more important to us, but that will have to happen at the same time. We can add that task and tell Reclaim.ai which one of our tasks has priority. I'll create a task and show you. Now what we see here is that Reclaim.ai has added the task to our planner and it has moved down our walk as well. We can also see that one of our tasks or at least one of them will be late. But if we go to tasks, we can reschedule their priority. Let's say that writing a copy for the website is more important to me than video editing. We go back to the planner and we see that writing copy for the website has been moved up compared to the video editing. Now that was it for the video about using Reclaim.ai for scheduling your Google Calendar. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was useful to you. See you again in the next video. Goodbye.